You can configure just about everything on the command line option when you start up MongoDB, like the path for your data using mongod dash dash db path equal your directory. But config5 lets us do this easily and safely. Let's take a look at an example config file and see some things it can do. First, we see in commands the location for MongoDB documentation. Then, we will see a couple of things right here. First, there is storage. It is where your data live on MongoDB. So, it's on data folder by default, as we have said before. For login, we are using a log file. And then, we will assign a location and that we are appending configuration to this file. Just note that the log file and the path for data and logs are going to be different depending on your operating system. With NAT, we have bind IP and port, which is important if you need to change things for security reasons or replication. But more on that later. There are a bunch of more options like, first, process management, which takes as options fork, bit file path, and time zone info. Fork supports a boolean, and it's false by default, because by default, MongoDB won't fork itself, so it won't be a background process. However, by setting fork to true, you allow it to be a background process by default. Then, there is security, which is another important aspect. It has many options, I will try to explain some of them in here. There is first authorization which is basically a string that can be either disabled or enabled. Authorization is disabled by default. In case it was enabled, it will require rule-based authentication for users. There is also JavaScript enabled, which is another thing that you might or might not want to enable. There could be some security issues if you allow JavaScript to run. But if you don't, you can do things like Import JSON file of a collection. Replication is another important thing. It has three options. Replica set name is a string, which takes the value of the default replicate, as it needs to be the same for all members of replica set. There are other options like sharding, audit log, and SNMP. But we currently overlook these subjects on our tutorial. I believe that all of you know how to use MongoDB configuration file. If you recall, we have talked about this before, but let me remind you about it. So you do something like mongo dash dash config equal mongod.cfg. For Linux and Mac users, it will be something like this, mongo.conf. Next, we will talk about replication. If you like this video, leave your comment below, like it, and share it with your friend and colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.